Good morning. Welcome back. Well, smoking, as you probably know, can kill you, and yet millions still smoke. Yeah. Joining us this morning to talk about the addiction and ways to quit the habit, Susan Lunston from Gunderson Health System. Susan, thanks for getting up with us. Good morning. Why is it still such an issue? Why are people still smoking? So I think that demonstrates just the addiction that you guys were just describing, that many people, um, they smoke for various reasons, but nicotine is addicting. And it continues to bring people back to that same routine that they're used to, the same sensations that they're used to, and that same response that they're used to. So many people are out there and they are dealing with an addiction. Now, for those looking to quit, uh, the Great American Smoke Out coming up uh, November 19th, obviously this is kind of why we're talking right. about that this morning. We've seen numbers, Num a number of times about why it's so important to quit, what the health benefits of it are. Can you remind us again, though, what some of those might be? Absolutely. So there are so many benefits to quitting, and health benefits is, is one of the many. Um, people can improve and protect their health. It's the best thing a person can do to improve and protect their health. They're going to reduce their chance for developing those tobacco-related diseases. Along with those health benefits, there's social benefits, there's financial benefits. There are just benefits galore when somebody makes that decision to quit. So definitely good reasons there to quit, but if someone is struggling quitting, what should they do? Absolutely. A lot of people report this is the hardest thing they've ever done in their life is to try and quit smoking. There are many resources available for people to tap into. There's a toll-free quit line. It's 1-800-QUIT-NOW and people can talk to a quit coach. It's free services and a lot of times people are able to tap into free or reduced um, nicotine replacement products when they make that call as well too along with that free counseling. Talking to your medical provider, again, another ab absolute opportunity to tap into those resources. They're trained to help you. They can also prescribe products as, avail as uh, appropriate and available for folks to help them with that quitting process. And sometimes it's, you know, it's the nicotine, obviously, that's the mm -hmm. addictive sub substance, but sometimes it's like the, I've heard people say it's the, the movement of, of doing that oh, sort yeah. of movement is addicting as well. Absolutely, so if you think about smoking, there's many aspects to it and people report that there's the physical addiction, the nicotine, but there's also the psychological connection that is there when people, again, they expect that response, it soothes them, it comforts them, it relaxes them, and there's also the habitual response, the movement, the, the routine that they have in place. So it's a very complex addiction. Yeah. Now again, uh, the Great American Smokeout is this Thursday. Is there anything specifically that Gunderson's doing or can people just go there any time to get more information? Absolutely. People can, again, contact their provider, but they certainly can give me a call. I'd be happy to talk to them about additional resources that they can tap into, and they can reach me at 775-5442. Uh, real okay. quick, do you, do you see more people contacting you this time of year around the smokeout? You know, it, it does vary, um, but this, again, it, it brings it to the front of mind for folks, so it is, it is something that they'll think about, and we do see a little influx of phone calls, absolutely. Oh, great. Susan, Perfect. thanks so much for joining us this morning.